Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another video. We are officially a week out from moving out of this apartment and moving into our new one, which was gonna be a surprise, but apparently I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to keep things a surprise when I explain things, and it's funny because I would consider myself to be like pretty good at deception. That didn't sound good. I would consider, I, I'm a good actress. I don't know, fuck, that did not sound good, and I don't know if I can fix that. I just mean, I didn't think I made it so obvious, and everybody was like, was it the loft? <laughs> was it option number three, just based off the way you talked about it? I'm like, so weird. <laughs> How did you know? We're moving into the live work loft. We're super, super, super excited. It took a little bit of warming up for me. I was like super excited about it. And then I went back to my roots of like really wanting a cozy homey spot. But then the more I thought about it, I was like, you know, the amenities and stuff are gonna be really cool. When else am I gonna get to live in a loft like this? I'm excited about it now. We're gonna make it really homey and I think it's gonna be really, really great. I think this will be like the nicest place we've had in terms of how we decorate it. I've never really been so, so great at decorating my home like I usually get like 60 70 percent of the way there but then I just kind of tap out so we're both really serious about making this place look awesome and my camera's dying so one second anyway this place is just like bones at this point the sofa is gone we also had somebody pick up uh, the TV and I'm also selling my beautiful white boucle custom sofa that I had at the old place but it's been sitting in my office because we got a new sofa there's just a lot going on our sofa that we had in the living room was so dirty never ever ever have a white sofa when you have three animals that was really not smart thinking on our end we're just kind of trying to make it as easy as possible for roadway when they come in we are working with roadway again thank goodness they were amazing and so easy to work with i am going to declutter the bathroom at some point and i also want to declutter in my office there's just a lot of stuff that i can downsize with thankfully i'm like not that much of a cluttering person i'm really good at getting rid of things i don't own a whole lot of stuff it's just a matter of like going through and really combing through and figuring out what I want and don't want but that's probably gonna be like the vibe for today but for now let's make some matcha nor the dirty counters recently got a new matcha from stereoscope and it's a collaboration with Mizuba and it's so so good I like that it told me to refrigerate when it's not in use because I have never done that before I definitely like a lot of matcha too so I typically do like one heaping teaspoon. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of the Elmhurst Oat Barista. I will say because this is like such a natural oat milk, I feel like it does affect the greenness of the matcha. I don't know if you can tell. As you can see, it has more of like a creamy, I don't know, tan beige color to it. Pretty into like a half sweet matcha. And I've just been using some organic agave from Sprouts. I didn't think about the fact that you guys wouldn't be able to see the color of the matcha, but you'll just have to use your imagination. I'm gonna get ready to go take these boys out for a walk. It's super overcast. I don't think we're gonna have like a late summer this year because the second it hit September in LA, the skies automatically turned gray, but I'm not mad about it. Like this is a harsh transition to fall, but I'm okay with it. Like. I'm ready to accept not having 100 degree weather. I'm gonna go take these dogs out, but also can I just quickly say that this video is going to be in collaboration with Skims. So later in this video, you will be seeing me do a style and try on. I'm so excited. It's like a very surreal moment to me. I've gotten to work with so many companies that I am just overjoyed by, like dream companies, if you will. So when Skims came in, I was like, I got so many great things. So excited to style, so excited to show you guys. So stay tuned for that. For now, I'm gonna drink this matcha and take these dogs out. As I mentioned, this video is in collaboration with Skims. I'm gonna be trying on a couple of items that they sent me. Oh, and also everything is in a size medium. I'm gonna start with the first piece and that is this beautiful Fits Everybody bandeau. <laughs> I don't know when this part of me grew. I've been getting so many questions recently asking if I got a boob job, which I'm like, flattered but I'm also like oh so you guys see it too as they have gotten bigger it's been really hard finding bandos that fit right but are still quite flattering on my breast and also feel snug they did a really good job with making this feel secure <laughs> let me tell you these girls 
they won't be popping out anytime soon. <laughs> Next, I am trying on the Fits Everybody Cami Thong bodysuit. A couple of things that I loved about this right away is that one, these straps are completely adjustable. Sometimes they're like way up here or they're way too low. So I love the added convenience of being able to adjust it. It's another piece that's hugging and flattering the girls in a really great way. If you guys want me to do a separate video like styling all of these pieces outside of the sponsorship, let me know. Basically just adding this to everything because I feel like this is a staple and a neutral and it goes so good. This is the dipped front thong in Coco, again in a size medium. It is so thin, it is so comfy. And then this is this little bralette. I feel like this is a really big deal for me because I haven't felt really confident in my body and in my skin in a while. The way that this hugs me, it's so flattering and like genuinely accentuates my curves in the right way. I feel like every cut was visually imagining different shapes and different bodies wearing this to feel their very best. This is a wireless bralette, but it's it's lifting. They really outdid themselves with this. By the way, Skims is actually doing a panty bundle where you can get three for $36. Highly recommend these seamless thongs. I will always, always love a boy short. These are so thin and so stretchy. And even though it is so thin, it is somehow, some way not giving me a camel toe, which I feel like is a huge miracle. I'm actually not fully understanding how, but I'm also not gonna question it. This is like my ideal type of undies to sleep. It's nice, it's stretchy, but it's also breathable. I don't even really feel like I'm wearing anything. It feels like a second skin more than anything. And of course, another absolutely gorgeous bodysuit. I just don't even feel like there's anything that needs to be said like I feel like Kim Kardashian <laughs> is this not something we've seen her wear like a million times like staple in her wardrobe this is exactly that I've been putting off trying this one on because I knew that the second I put it on it was gonna be everything that I wanted it to be and more this set is so flattering as a petite short girl with thick thighs it's just truly contouring my body even though I do have hip dips it's not accentuating them by squeezing in on it it's all just like flowing really nicely into this really beautiful hourglass figure and the material is just ridiculously soft. I'm completely blown away. Like literally completely blown away. They did also send over the soft smoothing seamless bra in a medium so I'm gonna try that on with this too. I feel like it's already kind of giving like Pilates workout set. Am I right? <gasps> Are you kidding? I'm wearing this to Pilates tomorrow. So flattering for the girls. You can wear this as a sports bra. You can wear this as a bra underneath one of your tanks if it's too sheer and you want a little bit more coverage. Something that kind of pushes and holds them. Wow. This is the last set. This is the cotton rib tank in Heather Gray. This is definitely like very cute loungewear. I'll probably be wearing these as like a little PJ set at home. This is like a very Sunday snooze set. I think it's beautiful. I love, love, love the cut on this top. I feel like they've really nailed it with this neckline in terms of making it really flattering and feminine no matter what size or shape your chest is. Overall, I am insanely impressed. This was such a nice little break from all of the chaos that has been ensuing with getting this place ready to go since we're moving in a couple of days. Again, I cannot express my gratitude enough to have had the opportunity to work with Skims this month. I'm going to make sure that I have absolutely everything I talked about linked down below. Thank you guys for watching and staying tuned and giving me the opportunity and the space to really grow and create and get to cultivate relationships like this. I hope that you enjoyed this very authentic, very real try on with Skim. And with that, let's get on with the rest of the video. Ryan and I are going to make some dinner except we already had dinner made because he made pasta yesterday I'm gonna be honest today is one of those days for me mentally where I'm just not feeling so great Ryan and I just recently celebrated two years together so I figured while we cook we could go over I don't know we could say like things that we learned about each other or I figured we could say some things that we learned about each other or like two things we've learned about each other, two things we love about each other, and two things we hate about each other. What can I just microwave the burrito? <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we do it while we're waiting for it to come out of the microwave. Can you make the chicken fibers? Okay. Change of plans. I'm gonna have a Trader Joe's reduced guilt. Mac and cheese. Dude, why are you even showing them this? Don't show them that we're eating the fucking Trader Joe's bullshit. I don't, I don't give a... Um, we're ordering caviar to the house. <laughs> Damn, this looks crazy. Dude. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, microwave on high. Three to four minutes. I'll go first. Get over here. Put the sand up in there. Yeah. One thing that I've learned about you in the last two years is that you're actually pretty funny. Dude, you're actually pretty funny. Funny. Pretty funny. Yeah, you make me laugh really hard. Well, I think I said this in that last video too that even when I want to have a bad day, you don't let me. But you're you're a funny guy. I have so many silly videos. Like there's a whole side of Brian that nobody knows. You'll never see. It. Nobody will ever. Not even your family. You know, you're pretty funny too. But you're funny when you're not trying to be I funny. I hate when he says this, dude. It hurts my feelings so bad. <laughs> well, you just do something and it'd be really funny, but you weren't trying to be funny. But when I am trying to be funny, it's not funny. Yeah, it's funny, but you're way... It's funnier a word? It's funnier to laugh at me than laugh with me. Funnier is a word, right? Yeah. You're way funnier when it's on accident. One thing I love about you is how resilient you are and how hardworking you are and talented. Those, I know that's a lot of things in one, but I feel like they all are under the same umbrella. You're very ambitious. That's that's what I'll say. You're very, very, very ambitious. I love watching you just become the best version of yourself. It's very inspiring to me. Oh, okay. One thing I learned about you is that you have more emotions than, than probably, you originally thought a year ago. No, probably than the average human being. Yeah. In the last video, you actually said on our year anniversary, you were like, one thing I've learned about you is that you're very emotional. <laughs> so now he's leveled it up. Yeah. You know? <laughs> you're more emotional than the attitude of me. I mean, it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. But it's like, you can be really happy, really sad, really, really excited, really bummed. You feel everything and you express everything like to the fullest extent. If it's your first time being to a restaurant, you're like, oh my god, look, they have lights here. <laughs> one thing I love about you is how emotional you are. You love it. Yeah. Well, I love it in some senses. In some senses, I hate it, but I love it. Okay. But I also love how caring you are and how selfless you are and how much you love the things that you really care about, like your animals and me and your family and all that stuff. Thank you. <laughs> I feel bad because now I have to say one thing I hate about you. Let's replace that. Let's make it one thing... I'll go. Oh. One thing I hate about you is that you get way too many fucking animals. I'm pretty sure you said this last year. Well, I feel the same about it. Oh, one thing I hate about you is that no matter what time of day it is, no matter if it's 2 o'clock in the morning, if we've just settled down to watch a movie together, you will listen to your videos at the max amount of volume. Bro, I have hearing problems. <laughs> I think music and shows and Babe. video games, everything's better with loud volume. Yeah, and he also likes to watch a lot of like random street fight videos and he likes to play those at max it, volume It's too. fun to see, I mean, feel bad for them, but... No, you don't. Nice to see someone get knocked out every once in a while. All right, that's two years. That's two years together. Here's two to three. <laughs> oh, you did too damn. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry. Okay, you're looking dead in the eye. Stop, I don't want to play anymore. The man behind the camera. <laughs> We're officially going to start this decluttering party and I am feeling a little bit overwhelmed because I've been putting this off for so long, mainly because I wanted to film it for TikTok or something, so we're gonna find a way to repurpose this. But the bathroom is probably the most atrocious space in the house and it's my fault. Like Ryan probably has max five products in this bathroom. Everything else is me. It's pandemonium, it's not good. I need to declutter. There's a lot of stuff that I need to throw away. And it's crazy because I would actually consider myself to be like a bit of a minimalist, <laughs> just crazy. So we're gonna start that party right now.
alone. I'm so tired. That probably took me like an hour. This is all we have left in here. This is like my essential skincare, which is kind of a lot. Even though I'm not using like all this stuff, I like to have it ready and available. Got my lotions up here. This is some stuff I'm setting aside for Rihanna. Yeah, the drawers here are janky. I don't know. They've been like that since we moved in. Underneath, it might not look like I did much, but I literally got rid of a whole garbage bag full of things and a whole duffel bag full of things. So like this is everything condensed. I guess this is all that's left. We'll move that in here. Sorry for the abrupt ending. We are officially moved into the new place and it has been absolute chaos and pandemonium. This is like my first moment to just like sit down and breathe. So I wanted to thank you guys for tuning into the video. Next video will be a moving vlog and just so much going on. Hopefully some home decor videos will be coming up. Um, I gotta figure out how to structure that because I've never actually cared so much about decorating my home. So I'll keep you guys posted, but I hope you guys enjoyed this short but fun and inviting video. My brain is not working. I love you guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.